good morning guys welcome to today's video today is january the third i can't believe it sam and i are headed to our regular costco trip we go every month to buy all the staples all the things that we use every single month like toilet paper and paper towel and dish soap and laundry soap and all that kind of stuff and dog food um do you guys go to costco and if you do what are your favorite things to buy because it's Costco and every time we go we end up buying things that we didn't even plan to buy but anyways welcome to today I wanted to just talk a few seconds before we get there um, about our New Year's resolutions Sam do you have New Year's resolutions yes you have New Year's resolutions yeah. what are they to wake up by 8 o'clock in the morning <laughs> <laughs> that's your New Year's resolution I can help you with that I'm always who's the first one awake in the house so I have an alarm clock. I know. Well, I always wake up at 8 anyways. Oh, well, so is that really a fake? Yes, it's you, a fake one. Because you got nothing else to improve on? No. Really? Nope. Do you want me to help you with that? No. Nope. <laughs> and it's true. Some people don't set New Year's resolutions. Some people are more laid back or more, or more relaxed or they focus their life or they set up their life a different way. And then there are other people who are so focused on setting goals and meeting them. And then there are another group of people that buy into setting New Year's resolutions, but then they struggle with it and then they fail and then it does a number on their self-esteem. I wanted to tell you guys that no matter what kind of person you are, it's okay to set resolutions, not set resolutions, do it your own way. Just because the whole world on January 1st seems to be setting resolutions doesn't mean that you have to. And if you don't, and if you do, and you don't meet all your goals, that doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you either. Whatever way you do, January the 1st, the most important thing is for you to do it the way that works best for you. I am a resolution setter. I love resolutions. I don't always meet every single one that I set out to do, but but I get excited at the idea of a brand new year, brand new me, brand new everything. I am somebody who gets bored and sick doing the same thing over and over and I really feel like, especially with our horses, that we are doing the same thing over and over and over. This last year, I don't feel was our best year and I wanna make changes. I wanna make so many changes. We're making changes. We already started um, and when I put down the camera, I'm gonna work on another change for this year that I'm excited about. Anyways, I just wanted you guys to know that, that if you are struggling with the whole world making resolutions and feel like you have to jump on that, that train to just know that it's okay not to make resolutions and it's okay to set goals throughout the year. It's okay to set goals just specifically for the day instead of a whole year. Do it whatever way that works for you and just be happy with, with your choice. Be happy with the way that you do it. All right, so we are gonna head into the store in just a couple of minutes and I wanted to tell you that I bought something super fun for the horses and we're gonna show you guys that when we get back. All right, so we have Chino Bambino down in the barn. I also conveniently have my massage gun. I had like a, one of our viewers told me I should get one of these things and then I did, thank goodness, for Christmas and I'm gonna try it on Chino. I think he'll really enjoy this. Somehow my little machine got something loose on the inside of it and it's making a noise now. But what I love about this is it feels so good. <laughs> he's looking at me, he's like, whoa! <laughs> I should be careful, <laughs> my kick me. Anyway, I have it on like a low level so that it doesn't hurt him. Look all this hair. And I'm not keeping it in one spot and I'm not doing it on bony areas. Oh, see, he likes it right there. It's so good for deep tissue. Oh my gosh, I love it. I think we should do it for all of our horses, honestly. It just feels so good. I love this thing. Do you like it, Gino? Do you like it? It can be so good for them. She's okay. So cute today. Oh, is she? Yeah, you want to see? Yeah, I want to see. Are you so cute today? Did you do your exercises with her already? Look, you, you can see on the one side of her leg, it lifts up better. The other one even looks a little bit better too. She's dragging it less. Okay, so the thing that I got for the horses, you're probably wondering, uh, is a clicker. We have some at home, but I couldn't find them. I would so use, try I, and use that on Daisy, but she wouldn't hear it. Yeah, Daisy couldn't hear it. But anyways, I got this one. It was $11.95. They were $11.99. They're both $11.99 at the pet store. 
And I got this one because it has three different sounds. Is that this is the first sound. This is the second sound. And this is the third sound. It's like the other two sounds are just lower versions of this one. But anyway, I'm so happy with it. We're gonna try it. Um, we're gonna start using a clicker in our positive reinforcement training things. with our horses. Feel it, it's the little feel things. Super yeah. cool. So anyways, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it, but first I'm gonna clean up the poop in the wait, arena. Wait, wait, look. One, two, yeah. one, two. Sophie's little mini-me's. Sophie's little mini-minions. Okay, so you guys know that in Liberty training, the very first thing that you teach is for them to walk beside you. Can you show them that? I will. So then when she did... <laughs> now we switch to the pony. The pony is like, I'll demonstrate this. Gracie's like, I'm demonstrating too. <laughs> Gracie's like, let's join you. <laughs> okay, we might have to lock some horses outside. Because, oh. <laughs> yeah, so that happened. <laughs> As soon as we started training, hey, it's like we change our voice and it's the same with our dogs. Okay, so essentially when they do what we when they do what we want them to do, we want to do the clicker before we give them the treat. So basically the same exact thing. Okay, so let's try again. Let's try again. The baby wanted to demonstrate. So basically that's not it. So as she so does... Put the clicker before I give her the treat? Yeah. Is that good? So the baby wanted to be the one to demonstrate. Good girl, yeah. So she doesn't know exactly yet. All she knows is like to follow. She doesn't understand completely. If we can teach her to stay... Yeah, that's the second thing. First perfect. Yeah. So I'm trying to do something with Willow. So that is the second thing that we're going to teach our horses. And then stop, clicker. Good girl. So she needs to stop when you stop. Good girl, yeah. So this baby is literally just learning for this for the very first time ever. She sticks to you. Yeah, she's a Velcro pony, so it, that helps a lot. Okay, stop. Yeah, good girl. She doesn't understand completely yet because Sophie's not being completely... Well, because I'm not completely... Yeah, Sophie, yeah, Sophie doesn't know this completely yet either with the trick or work trip with the click. Sophie doesn't know this complete... Yes, good girl! So usually we use the word yes instead of the clicker, but I want them to get rid of... I want them to get used to the clicker. Show her what you want. Good girl. So this is the course that we're taking and we're trying to start from the beginning and use the clicker so that we can add the clicker into our training. Good girl. So we're just trying to incorporate the, tricker, the clicker into our training and then we're going to go back to where we were in the course. I like using voice commands. I like using voice commands too. You guys comment below. What's better? Is it better to use... Why can't you click and use the voice commands? Because it's something extra that I have to hold. It has a little rope you can put around your, your wrist. Willow broke it. Oh, already? Well, because um, she bit it. He's getting a little ahead of me. Good girl. <laughs> She's like, thank you. I will bow. <laughs> no, that was a fist bump. Well, the thing I really like about positive reinforcement training is that your horses want to do it. Like they stand at the gate and wish that it was them. But now that we are trying to add the clicker, what do you guys think? Like, I think we do better without the clicker, with verbal commands. What do you think, Sophie? She shouldn't be turning her bum. She needs to like stand straight. I know, but can I show you something? Sure. Okay. She does stop, she just, does, she just turns her butt. I don't really care. But we need, if you're gonna show her this so summer. This and this. Okay. Okay, come on, Wills. Just show them. Come on, no, don't, don't do it.
That's adorable. <laughs> she was trying to fist bump you. I asked Sylvia if she could do a thumbnail because I want to try and be better at thumbnails. We're always having to try and like make a thumbnail. So I want to be better at thumbnails. And I, we never take them. So we have to make them from our videos. And it's really hard to do that, especially when you can never get it to match the title. So I told Sophie like, can you try and make a thumbnail? And I was just about to tell her what I wanted it to look like. And then Willow like totally posed like, <laughs> she was doing a thumbnail. She's our little show pony, I'm telling you. My goal with this course this winter is to get our horses going really, 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 really well in the arena and then move it outside. But obviously we have work to do. Honestly, I can't find anything in this barn tomorrow. Tomorrow is cleaning day. Tomorrow we're getting up early and we're coming down and we're gonna clean this barn again. And I'm gonna get stuff to sell because we literally have so many things because we can't find some. No, we're not selling any of these. These are collectibles, you guys. Okay, so our cousin Emma, you guys know, she's been riding at our barn, riding with Sophie on trail lessons. Um, she, so the girls are gonna start taking saddle pads, their own saddle pads to dress the horse they ride up. What color are blue? How much does she have? She has like a royal blue. So I was thinking this color would match, but I don't think that that's would it. this color match? Yeah, that's the one. So this one? I think so. Don't they have a matching um, ear bonnet? Ear bonnet? Only, Gab, only Sophie got into the ear bonnets. All right, so that's the one. Are you gonna, which one are you gonna bring? My green one. Your new one for Christmas? Where's that? It's here too, it, isn't no, it? No, it's in my room. Okay, so we'll get those. I love that. You're if I was like, yeah, do you think I should wash it? I hate washing them because they shrink, even if you don't put them in the dryer, but I will. I'll wash it right now because it got dirty. But well, if she doesn't want one you, she can have the... Yeah, that one would work too. Because she has a blue helmet and she wants it to match her or helmet. this. Yeah, that would match too. Oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks when you pull it down by mistake. <laughs>